Hello, my friends. It's me, Karen Valentine, and we are going to do the background today on this beautiful image um, by an artist that goes by 0073.uv on Instagram and on Patreon. Um, Patreon is the only place that you can get this page and all of her other pages, and, and they're fabulous. So you should go over there and check it out. So I have been playing around with backgrounds. <laughs> I've tried several and um, I finally came upon this one that I really, really like. And um, I, so, and so, <laughs> we are going to do our background with the Distress Crayons um, by Ranger and Tim Holtz. And um, I was really surprised that I could use water on this paper because it's, you know, it's not a super heavy paper. But um, I'm going to give you a little, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek and show you how I've been playing. So as I said, I, um, I practice by printing out the image on a, on a scrap piece of this paper. And then I can play around and cut and paste and cut out. So this is what we're going to try and achieve again. And um, so that's why I've already kind of got my um, palette dirty because I've already started. So this one um, is a pretty, qu pretty quick um, and easy background. So well, I'm just gonna start. So the first color that I'm going to lay down is Dusty Concord. And I find that um, these do a lot better when they are um, freshly put onto the palette because um, if they get a chance to dry on the palette, then they don't spread as fast. Now, the nice thing about this, because we're going to be using water, is that you don't have to be precise. I just want to get some of this color down on the paper. Um, I tried coloring directly onto the paper with these, and what winds up happening is that you get a lot of um, swirly um, marks from where the crayon went onto the paper. And it takes too much water um, to work those swirly. I'm going to go ahead and turn this. It takes too much water to work those brush, uh, not brush, um, the crayon marks out of the paper. So it really is better um, to apply it first. I know it maybe seems like an extra step that's kind of a pain, but honestly, it goes really quick, so it's really not too bad. Um, yeah, so I really, I tried doing it lots of different ways, and this way seemed to be the best. You can use your, um, you can use these brushes if you prefer, if you like those brushes better. Um, I personally, I mean, they're both, they're both good brushes. It just kind of depends on what you're trying to do. But I feel like I can, um, I don't know, push harder with these and and really get that. So as you can see, we didn't bother going along, we didn't bother getting up close to the edge of the image because we don't have to. And we didn't cover the whole entire thing because we're gonna use a few different colors here. So but I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can tell, but Really, the 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 um, this crayon dries 
really fast, faster than the gelatos do, I think. So putting down a small amount at a time and just continuing to do that seems like the best way to go because otherwise it almost feels like it gets wasted. Okay, where's my other brush here? Okay, so this is um, aged mahogany. Something I do really like about these crayons, um, as opposed to the gelatos, is that they're definitely more opaque. So they're probably closer to um, neo colors, but they 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 don't seem as milky to me as neo colors. Neo colors always seem kind of milky to me. These seem more. Um, true in color, more, more, I don't know how to describe it, but I like them. Okay. All right, let's do one more color. I'm going to do gathered twigs. A nice warm brown. I won't do too much of this. Start, let's start there. The other thing that I really liked about these is that it does not take a lot of water at all to activate these. Um, so actually the less water used, um, the better at least in my in this case. So I am using a water brush. If your water brush is really wet and leaky, I would I would just switch to a regular um paintbrush cuz you don't want you definitely don't want a, a ton of water. Going to add the black right up against the image, and then you can use your brush anywhere you want to kind of smooth and blend the rest of the colors. But I kind of wanted to achieve that um, painted look. So I um, 
kind of like to use a, I don't know, like a, <laughs> like a, a, an effect that makes it look like brush strokes, I guess would be what I would. But I want to try and keep the majority of the black close to her, close to the image. We can always come in after this dries and reactivate or add more black. So we'll see what we need to do after we kind of want that color to go all the way to the edge. This does seem to cover the, um, the um, pencil. So you want to be careful not to go over the top of your coloring or else it will cover it up. trying to figure out the best way to do this so I don't something tells me I just did a 180 on that paper that was kind of silly Let's see how debating on if I want to put any of this black on the bottom part. <clears throat> In other words, I think I want to not get this hair out of here. I think I just want to use the water to Um, blend right down here. Okay. And the other, I mean, it really surprised me because this paper is not a super heavy cardstock, but it is hardly buckling at all, which is really surprising to me. Um, I should probably, I want to add some more black, but I'm thinking I should probably let it dry because I don't want to, I don't want to tempt fate and push it too much. So um, I'm going to just turn off the camera, dry it real quick, and then come back. Okay. So I feel like I want, before I do the black, I want to do a little more of this brown.
thing of getting too fast with my water or with getting too fast and not being careful about how much water I'm putting down. Do some more black. This is turning out to be kind of a wintry picture, not really a summery spring picture. But that's okay. Let me um, just clean out my brush a little bit. some work to do down here because it just looks like I didn't get my color down there properly. So this is the um, mahogany, aged mahogany. That might be too, that might be too red. Sorry, I know it's a pain that I have to keep turning this around, but it's the only way I could think of to not stick my hand in. Do some of this purple color too. There we go. There we go. That's better. And we'll do the same thing down here a little bit more. Thinking, I'm thinking. I 
and I'm also experimenting, which I probably shouldn't be doing on a page like this <laughs> on film, but okay, so the question for me would be I'm going to mix some black in here. The question for me would be, do I add something over the top of this or do I let this be what it is? Like I could add some uh, pencil over the top, like a light colored pencil, which I've done before. I think I like it, but part of me is thinking that I even want to kind of keep, I was thinking that I wanted to go lighter as I went out, but I kind of feel like I need to add some more dark. So I'm kind of mixing the black with the brown. Maybe a little bit. So you're just gonna, if you're if you're doing this, um, just work it till you like it. You know, maybe you want it light lighter than this, and that is okay. Okay, I'm gonna dry this. We'll see what we got here. I might have put too much black at the at the base, not the base, you know, right next to the image. Okay, drying time. And one little tip when you dry, dry from the top, and then when it's dry mostly on the surface, you're gonna start seeing the paper curling up towards you. Flip it over and dry on the back side, and that will flatten that image back down and um, help keep it um, from curling too much in the wrong direction. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, so it's all dry, and I think I have decided um, to add some more another layer to this because I had in my head a vision of a rich chocolatey background and it's not quite there yet. The colors that I tried previously on it were not giving me the look that I wanted and so that's why I went with the, um, the burgundies and the purples which I still really like but I think it still needs something. So I'm going to combine the um, the Distress Crayons with the um, Distress Inks. And I think I'm going to take this Walnut Stain. I tried just a teeny little bit of it to make sure that that is what I wanted to do. And I think I'm going to put a piece of scrap paper So, um, it just, it didn't have the, um, the warmth that I wanted yet, so let's just do that and see what we get. I 
like about these <clears throat> on top is that they seem to, well, I think they do. Because they're sheer, um, it's still allowing some of the texture and even some of the color to show through, but it's just making the color richer and darker, which is which is where I want it to be. So might even do another layer. I'm not sure. feel like I've struggled with this page to get it to where I want and I, I think it's because I pre-planned what I wanted to do <laughs> and um, I, I do a lot better when I just let the page speak to me and tell me what it wants. <laughs> well, that sounds stupid but... As if I have expectations and I don't always meet them the way I want to. Okay, well that's getting better already. So, I'm curious if I were to add some black soot. I always want to go in a really small area before I start laying it down in a big area. So, one of these little brushes and see it's pretty dark and I want to be careful because I don't really want I wonder if I were to add I wonder if I were to use that with this Just tap that black a little bit just to get it a little bit darker, but not but not go black. Because I feel like I want the um black that I put on here with the distress distress crayons to blend a little bit better. I think I had it a little too heavy. It's getting better. Feels a lot better to me. Now there's this area right here that needs something. I can't seem to get up close enough to her. these brushes. <clears throat> okay, so this feels much closer to where I want to be. Um, well, now I'm just fine tuning. Kind of 
because I'm kind of inexperienced with <clears throat> some of these products. I don't know exactly how they behave. I could come in with pencil um, and get into these tight bits. Um, typically that would be what I would do, but Maybe we just try it with one. Do I want to use black or espresso? How about black? And it's really, I mean, this is just me being super extra picky. <laughs> Definitely, I'm glad that I added that layer <clears throat> of Distress Inks over the top. I really just, really, really wanted it to be really rich. Part of me wonders if I should be doing this with espresso and not black, but I'm not pressing down real hard. And this is my Spira Farben Black, which Polychromos Black is also a brown, a brown black as opposed to a neutral gray black. So. really has a, um, a nice rich warmth that it added. So, all right, I'm gonna, <laughs> no, wait. I'm never, I'm never really done. Okay, this is my espresso, just curious. Some of this area right here by her skin just did not do what I wanted it to do. It didn't get quite as... That's, that's better. I'm very detail-oriented when I do my pages to the point where sometimes it's annoying to me. <laughs> I will lay in bed at night stressing about a page and how if I'm not happy with it when I um, when I go to bed at night, <laughs> which is really stupid, but there it is. Okay, so I keep finding all these places that I feel like need a little bit of extra help. All right, I can honestly say I am finished <laughs> and happy. Um, so yay, I was, not, I was not quite feeling it until we added that last layer. So there it is, she's all finished, finally. <laughs> um, if you watched all of the videos and the whole series, thanks for hanging in there with me. <laughs> Once again, I think we got there in the end, and um, yeah, I'm re I'm really happy. So I hope um, I hope you had fun, and I will see you guys back again for the next video. I've got a um, I've got a another flip through to do. I've got um, a little pencil review um, thing, and um, and we're gonna work on a new. A new page so there's lots lots coming for the month so 
Until I see you guys again, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and happy coloring. Love you guys. Bye.